target start to target start, target end to target end, as well as actual end to actual end, and actual start to actual start. We still have to add the sales value to the pointer value field. In our Excel sheet, you can see that we have information for October as well as information for November. In this example, we only want to view the month to date sales value. So select the sales data and create a new measure. Name it month to date sales and the formula is total month to date the sum of the sales data, actual sales, and we want it by date. Again, we want the sales data date and enter. So this is the measure for the month to date sales value. Now drag the month to date sales to the pointer value and you will find that we have made $600,000 during the current month to date. If you want to view the sales for previous months, you have to create a slicer for the date Select the slicer and select list. Now you will find a list for each day of the month. We want to slice it for the month to date in total. So go to edit queries. Select the sales data. Go to add a column. Go to date. Select year and year. We just created a new column for the year. Create another column. Highlight the date column. Go to date and then month and month. Go to home, close and apply. On the sales data, create a new column. Go to modeling.